All right, guys, I have been in the United States for one week now, and I'm starting to realize that I made a serious mistake moving to Brazil, okay? You guys know I've been living in Brazil for a year. I'm only here in the United States for a couple of more weeks. But if you can relate to this in the comment section, let me know. Once you live in Brazil, or Colombia or any of these exotic locations that you really adore, you can pick the country. It is difficult coming back to the United States or it, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't function. I'm starting to see things a lot different living in Brazil here. And I'm just telling you right up, straight up off the rip. There is no way, there is no way that I can consider living here in the United States. If you gave me a million dollars, and you say, hey, Skylar, I'm going to give you a million, but you have to live in the United States and you can't stay here or you have you can't leave. You got to stay here. I'm, I'm leaving at one million on the table. I'm like, nah, can't do it. The amount of peace of mind that I get in Brazil compared to the United States is night and day, bro. I told you uh, I told her on Austin's live stream. I, I, I wasn't even here three days and some ninja pulled a gun out on me. I told y'all that, right? Remember that? I'm driving to my dad's house. And you guys know I have been, um, I haven't driven a car in a while. So I'm driving to my dad's house on the interstate and I swerve just a little bit to the right in the dude's lane. Okay, whatever, that's fair. And then I swerved back. I was close to his car. Okay, that's fair. But he pulled out his gun. He pulled out his gun and he was waving his gun like this. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, he could have literally pulled the trigger. So you're going to tell me road rage is that bad in the United States, how dangerous it is just to drive. You're willing to go to jail. He had uh, child uh, baby seats in the back of his car. So you have children. So you're willing to go to jail just be, you know, what I'm saying, and kill somebody just because they accidentally swerve in your lane. This is where we have come in the United States, bro. It is getting bad. Nobody ever pulled a gun out me, a gun out on me in Brazil. And y'all talk about how dangerous it is in Brazil. Everybody keep getting consultations with me. Hey, is it dangerous there? Like, look in the mirror. Do you want to successfully date women abroad? Keep in mind now, I live in Brazil and I've been living overseas 14 years. Do you also want to discover all of the top tier travel hacks from a pro? You get all my knowledge and build wealth through stocks, bonds, mutual funds, crypto. I have all of that information in this travel system. Check it out. Check the link in the description box for more info. Look in the mirror, bro. There, the United States is terrible. Okay, so let's just so that so now we got ignorant brothers uh, acting out, waving guns. It is not just brothers too; it's everybody. So set that on itself. So the United States is not as safe as everybody think it is. That's number one. Number two, I'm just looking at the processes here, right? So living in the United States, you need a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? You need a vehicle which means you most likely are gonna have a car note. That's number one. Car note, the average car payment in the United States is over $700. Insurance prices are going up. Everybody knows this. The reason why insurance is going up is because the, the, uh, all of these cars now are very are computerized. These, these parts are expensive to replace. That makes insurance premiums go up. So your insurance premiums are going up. Then you got to drive everywhere, commute to work, 30 minutes to work, 30 minutes back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too much. Right. My mom goes to the gym every morning. It's 30 minutes to the gym and 30 minutes back. You know what I'm saying? In Brazil, consequently, I can walk to the gym. Everywhere I need to go, I can walk to the gym. I can walk to the grocery store. I can walk to the beach. I can walk to, uh, to get my hair cut. Everything that I need is in walking distance. And, I, and you save so much money just not having a vehicle. Now, to be fair, there are walkable cities here in, uh, 
in the United States, but they're nowhere near as cheap as Brazil. OK, so we're looking at everything from a cost of living perspective. Brazil wins. Right. And I don't and I'm not and I'm not willing to give that up. Let's talk about what we what we what you guys know we come here for. Right. The ladies. I have been in the United States for a week and I haven't seen anything that is off the charts. When I walk to the gym. Every day in Brazil, it's a 15 minute walk. I see at least five or six baddies at a minimum. And then when I get into the gym, there's five or six or seven more. So bad, me and my, me and my, uh, my uh, personal trainer has to stop our workouts. That's how crazy it is. But here in, Brazil, or here in Texas, I'm like, uh, and in Louisiana, I'm like, uh, I saw one cute girl. I saw one decent chick when I was at Bucky's. She was like a little five, uh, seven, five, eight white girl, you know, uh, kind of volleyball body, thick legs, all that type of shit, wearing cowboy boots because we in the country. Right. Dude, when she walked past all of these, every time I saw her in Bucky's, she was walking past a guy. All these guys were like googly eye, like they ain't never seen a baddie before. Right. That tells me, and that's just anecdotal, but we already know what it is. Supply and demand. There's not many attractive women in the United States. There is not many attractive women in the United States. So what you have is a lot of guys are piling, pile driving, DMing, trying to get uh, uh, access to a small percentage of pretty girls. And what they're doing is they're willing to pay for it if they got to. I know you guys don't want to hear that. Sending them cash apps, sending them money. To, baby, just get your nails done. Here's a cash app. Here's a hundred dollars. Here's a Venmo. They're doing anything to get these women's attention. And what is happening is it's gassing their heads up. That's something you can't control. As a man, you cannot control what other men do. OK, people are making these videos talking about how bad the women are in the United States, which is fair. It's not a good it's not a good scene, but you got to go to the root cause. Why did it come this way? Why did it why did it happen this way? It's because you have a lot of weak beta males with a lot of money. The worst combination in the world. This is worse than mixing uh, Henny and tequila. The worst combination is in the world is when you have a simp with a lot of money. And, and, and people come out to me and say, well, MT, you out there in Brazil and you tricking, you doing this and you doing that. But I'm getting something in return. That's the difference. These guys are just throwing money like a Hail Mary, hoping and praying that they're going to get some type of result and they don't get any result. That's why when you go out on a dinner date and she's saying, hey, at a minimum, you got to take me here. You got to take me to this fancy restaurant. But everything is up to interpretation. It's a fruitless endeavor. You don't even know what's going to happen at the end. You're like wondering, mm. is, he, is she going to give me a kiss at the end of the dinner date? Is she going to invite me to her place? That's what you're dealing with in the United States. So everything is, uh, is jacked up. But in Brazil, I love it because it's crystal clear. It's crystal clear. I see everything. I got 4D vision when I'm in Brazil. I know what's going down. I know what's going down before. I know what's going down during. And I know what's going down after. Everything is crystal clear. But here in, in the United States, it's all up to interpretation. And you can't ask her specific questions because this is going to tell you off. Oh, you're only with me for this. Or you're only with me for that. Oh, you only care about this. Oh, you just trying to get into my. You see what I'm saying? And then you got to backtrack. Oh, no, it's not like that. It's nothing like that. Trash, bro. OK. Living in Brazil, peace of mind is is paramount, dude. And just being here in the United States, just seeing how people move, seeing what's going on in the news and what's happening with celebrities, even celebrities are having trouble. Um, child support payments, alimony, uh, you know, 
you know, she got to take half of this and you got to you, 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 you got to do with nothing. It's a it's a mess, bro. It's a mess. And this is my prediction. And a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying this. This is my prediction. The United the situation in the United States is going to get significantly worse. And it's still going to be good in Brazil. OK, all you got to do is just follow the money. We talk about dating and all that type of stuff. Just follow the money. That's all you got to do. Just take a look at it. Right. In the last three or four years uh, since the C-19. OK. The federal government was printing a lot of money. Print, 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 print. Everybody getting stimulus checks. Everybody's walling out. Everybody's having a good time. When you print a lot of money, you have excess supply of money on the market. Right. So now the costs of your dollars weaken. And here we are with inflation. All these prices is going up. We got interest rates going up. We got Jerome Powell talking about, oh, well, we uh, for, for this, for this inflation is persistent. OK, so everything is more expensive now. OK, but her tastes, the things that she wants to do uh, and where she wants to go. Those expectations are going up, too, because she's on social media. She's on Instagram. She's on TikTok. She's on Pinterest. She's seeing all of these expense, these these expensive excursions to these fancy restaurants. She wants to go to Dubai. She wants to do this. She wants to do that. Cancun, Tulum, all that type of stuff. OK. And her job, how much she's getting paid, she can't do all of the things that she wants to do. Right. So she's not going to get a second job. She's not going to do like you do and say, you know what, I'm just going to put my nose to the grindstone and I'm going to get Uber. I'm going to get a second job working Uber. She's not going to do that. And a lot of people get mad at me for that. Where is she going to get the money? Where is she going to where is she going to get the money to offset those costs of funding her lifestyle? You. OK, you. And there's so many of you who are willing to give her the money. That she says, you know what, I don't have to do anything in return. I'll, and sometimes they don't even say thank you. Sometimes they feel like they're entitled to it. You know what, I'm entitled to this. You owe me. You see what I'm saying? It's just backwards, bro. I'm happy that I'm only here a month. If it wasn't for my family, if it wasn't for my family, I would not be here. I would not be here. My brother plays professional basketball in Bali, in Jakarta. OK, with Indonesia, Jakarta, but he goes to Bali on the weekends. Right. He's considering moving to Bali. He says, you know what? I either want to move to Bali or Thailand. He makes a lot of money, but he's like, why spend the money if I don't have to? My mom, big old house, paid for all that good stuff. Right. She's considering uh, moving to Bali, too. She's like. Just because your house is paid off, you still have other expenses that occur in the house. Owning a home is expensive. And then you have a car, you got a Mercedes, you got all this type of stuff, and it just adds up. Why not save your money and go to another country where the cost of living is a lot cheaper? A lot of people are like, oh, Swiss so Scholar, you moved to Brazil because of the women. They are part of the reason. They are a good part of the reason. But a, a big part of the reason is how much money I'm able to save at the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? Utilities, uh, electricity, water, all of those bills. I run my AC 24-7. It is, it is nothing. It's super, super cheap. I only need a vehicle. Ubers to and from are dirt cheap. $2 Uber rides, $3 Uber rides. It's nothing. The dollar is getting stronger, too. Because, yes, the economy is doing bad here in the United States, but uh, these other countries are doing a lot worse. OK, where are we at? So we have a, uh, a situation and I'm telling you that the United States is off the table. It's confirmed. Brazil has spoiled me completely. Uh, there's no way that I can ever move back here unless I have a family emergency. A family emergency is the only thing that's stopping me. A lot of people are like, well, uh, not everybody can do what you do. Yes, you can. If you start planning now, right, 
look at your budget, become debt free. You know what I'm saying? That's number one, right? Uh, number two, you need to start investing your money, stock market, right? Get you some uh, ETFs, uh, S&P 500 index funds, all that type of stuff. Start building your, uh, your uh, portfolio, right? Start looking at remote jobs. I had a, consul a client today over the phone. He has a remote job. He makes a lot of money, but he hasn't really been able to venture out like that, like that. And he started watching my videos. He's like, why am I living here? Like, why am I living here? I'm making all of this money. That's where a lot of guy people are in, in the United States. They make so much money, but they spend it on a whole bunch of material stuff that don't even matter. My shipment from uh, my when I retired from the Air Force, I put all my stuff in storage. They're going to deliver all of it to my mom's house here in a couple weeks. And I'm getting rid of all of it. Except my shot glasses. I got some shot glasses from every country that I've been to. Out of, that's, that's the only thing that I can think of that I want to keep. Everything else, all my suits, all my polo, Ralph Lauren polo, all that type of stuff. I'm giving it away. All my shoes, Nike Air Force Ones, all that type of stuff. Jordans, y'all can have all of it. I'm giving it away. I don't even want to charge you. Just get rid of it. Entertainment system, uh, king size bed. The low joint, the Japanese king side, the Jap it's a Tempur-Pedic mattress, but it sits low on the ground, the Japanese style bed. Giving that away. Y'all can have it. My iMac computer, I'm giving that to my mom. My OLED TV, I got a 65-inch OLED TV. Here, you can have it, mom. I don't even want that no more. Because when you're in Brazil, when you, like, for me personally, when you're in Brazil, everybody's outside. The entertainment is outside. The beach, people playing volleyball, people playing football, people playing a, a footsie, a, a foot volley, all that type of stuff. We, we have, we at the beach bars. We folding some stuff up on the couch. You really ain't got time to be, I don't really have a desire. I, I mean, I play video games, but yeah, bro. We, we everybody's outside. So all of, I realized that I'm, I'm becoming a, uh, a, so, uh, a, a slightly minimalist. I'm giving away all my stuff. I moved to Brazil, get me a furnished apartment, and then there's a couple things in the apartment that I want to switch out, like the bed is too firm. So I swapped that out and got me a, a memory foam mattress. But other than that, no way I'm moving back here, bro. There's no way. Okay? I'll be doing a live stream this weekend. We're going to be cooking this weekend, and I'll see you there, guys. Holla at your boy. Peace.